A Night Out, written by Harold Pinter. Where are you going? Mom, I've told you, honestly, three times. Honestly, I've told you three times I had to go out tonight. No, you didn't. I thought you were joking. I'm not going, I'm just going to Mr. King's. I've told you, you don't believe me. You're going to Mr. King's? Mr. Ryan's leaving. You know Ryan, he's leaving the firm. He's been there for years. So Mr. King's giving a sort of party for him at his house. Well, not exactly a party. Not a party, just a few, you know. Anyway, we're all invited. I've got to go. Everyone else is going. I've got to go. I don't want to go, but I've got to. Well, I don't know. I won't be late. I don't want to go. I'd much rather stay with you. Would you? You know I would. Who wants to go to Mr. King's party? We were going to have our game of cards. Well, we can't have our game of cards. Put the bulb in Grandma's room, Albert. I've told you I'm not going down to the cellar in my white shirt. There's no light in the cellar either. I'll be pitch black in five minutes looking for those bulbs. I told you to put a light in the cellar. I told you yesterday. Well, I can't do it now. If we had light in the cellar, you'd be able to see where those bulbs were. You don't expect me to go down to the cellar I don't know why we keep bulbs in the cellar. Your father would turn in his grave if he heard you raise your voice to me. You're all I've got, Albert. I want you to remember that. I haven't got anyone else. I want you, I want you to bear that in mind. I'm sorry, I raised my voice. I've got to go. Albert, what? I want to ask you a question. What? Are you leading a clean life? A clean life? You're not leading an unclean life, are you? What are you talking about? You're not messing about with girls, are you? You're not going to go messing about with girls tonight? Don't be so ridiculous. Answer me, Albert. I'm your mother. I don't know any girls. If you're going to the firm's party, there'll be girls there, won't there? Girls from the office? I don't like them. Any of them. You promise? Promise what? That, that you won't upset your father? My father? How can I upset my father? You're always talking about upsetting people who are dead. Oh, Albert, you don't know how you hurt me. You don't know the hurtful way you've got speaking of your poor father like that. But he is dead. He's not. He's living in here. And this is his house. Look, Mom, I won't be late. And I won't 
But what about your dinner? It's nearly ready. Silly and Kedge are waiting for me. I told you not to cook dinner this morning. Just because you never listen. Well, what am I going to do while you're out? I can't go into Grandma's room because there's no light. I can't go down to the cellar in the dark. We were going to have a game of cards. It's Friday night. What about our game of rummy? A Night Out Written by Harold Pinter